General anesthesia has two main aspects to it. So there's induction and maintenance. But before we get onto that, uh, let's have a quick chat about what exactly is general anesthesia and what does it try to achieve. So there are five main aims of general anesthesia and uh, various different drugs are used to try and achieve these aims. So hypnosis is a lack of awareness about what's going on. Amnesia means you forget the experience. Analgesia refers to the management of pain. A reflexia means uh, all the normal reflexes that ha occur within the body and need to be suppressed. And finally, muscle relaxation means that uh, all the muscles in the body, especially those around the pharynx, need to be relaxed such that patients can be intubated safely. So induction of anesthesia means transitioning from an awake state to an asleep state. So anyone who's had general anesthesia before uh, will have been asked by the anaesthetist to count uh, down from 100 and they'll eventually get to about 93 or something and then they'll be completely out. So the transition from awake to sleep is induction of anesthesia and this can be achieved either using IV agents or inhalational agents. So the main IV agents that are used are propofol, thiopentone and etomidate, whereas the main inhalational agents that are used are sevoflurane and nitrous oxide. So much of the time it's the IV agents that are used for uh, longer operations and they tend to mostly work by essentially upregulating the inhibitory systems within our brain. So the GABAergic neurons are the main stay of trying to dampen down various forms of brain activity and many of these anesthetics work by enhancing GABA activity. Maintenance refers to keeping a patient unconscious once they have entered that state and this again can be achieved using either IV or inhalational agents. So the inhalational agents that are used are things like sevoflurane, isoflurane and halothane and the only IV agent that can actually do both induction and maintenance is propofol. So so you might sometimes see, if you're watching an operation, you may see that the anaesthetist tops a patient up with uh, propofol every now and then to maintain that anaesthesia. Mm -hmm.